Hi, this is Theo from Punkablocks.com. Today I'm going to show you these water-soluble graphite pencils that are made by Derwent from England. They are called Graphitone. My first introduction to water-soluble graphite is actually through these pencils. This is the Derwent sketching pencil. Notice the little icon here of a brush. This is a water-soluble sketching pencil. And this is the Derwent Graphitone. The Derwent Graphitone is actually a whole piece of graphite so beneath this wrapping is actually just graphite and there is no wood here. So you can see that the size of these two pencils are exactly the same. So once you finish up using the graphite you can just peel away the sticker that is behind such as in this case here I peel off some or if you want a larger working surface area you can peel off the sticker as well and you have a, a larger exposed graphite to work on. If you want to sharpen the graphite, you can just put it into a sharpener like this and just uh, sharpen it as per normal pencil. It will chip off a bit, so I think you have to go a bit slowly, but it's much easier to sharpen compared to wooden pencils because there is no wood. These pencils come in four grades, 2B, 4B, 6B and 8B. If you want to buy them, I recommend you get 2B and 6B or 4B and 8B because the difference between each grade like 2B and 4B is not very significant. So if you want to see a much darker grade, a much darker tone, then you skip one grade. And they are very affordable, just slightly more expensive compared to uh, pencils like this. This is cold pressed watercolor paper that I'm using today. So I'm just going to start out with the 4B. I lost my 2B pencil somewhere. So on cold pressed watercolor paper, you can see that there is a lot of texture and if you want to cover the white of the paper, you have to go in really with a lot of pressure. And even so, you still see the white of the paper. I think this pencil is best used with hot press paper or paper with a much smoother surface. This is 6B. I'm not sure if you can see any difference between 4B and 6B. And this is 8B. This is the sharper pencil, 8B. So when they are dry, there's not a lot of difference. So usually after I apply the graphite on the paper, I would then use a water brush. I like to use a water brush for water soluble graphite because the water supply is always behind the brush so I don't have to keep reloading the water. This is 4B. And the one on the right side is 8B. The thing to note is not all the graphite has dissolved, so you still see some graphite on the paper itself. So you might have to work on dissolving the graphite if you really want them to dissolve completely. Just for comparison, I want to show you this art graph watercolor graphite just to compare the difference between this graphite and the graphite tone on the left side. It's much easier to apply this graphite because this is sort of in a powdered form but it's hardened so you can easily dissolve it and apply it onto the paper. You can, you can also see that you can get much darker values quicker, than, uh, quicker with the art graph. As mentioned earlier, it's much easier to use Graphitone on smooth paper. This is hot pressed paper. So now I'm just going to draw uh, maybe a chair and see how it's going to look like when I apply graphite, when I apply water on the graphite. Now I can go in to dissolve the graphite. As usual, if you want to dissolve the graphite completely, you have to go over the lines a few times. This is 4B, or is it 6B? I cannot remember. Let me try this 6B, 
and color the edges it doesn't seem to dissolve as well so I think it's best to apply it dry and then apply water on later let me show you another method that is actually what I commonly use so I will use the water brush and then try and dissolve the graphite on the pencil like this to create a wash first it will take some time to dissolve um, the graphite and make sure that it's dissolved completely and try to mix it properly after it's mixed properly I will then go in to apply the graphite onto the paper I find that this is much easier to use also you can get a much uh, flatter wash later on I will apply another layer of black over this uh, wash just to give it the extra contrast but this is usually how I use the graphy tone let me wait for this to dry before I apply another layer of black the main difference between Graphitone and ArtGraph is if you were to dissolve Graphitone like I do on a palette first, you can create a flat wash very easily. This is much more difficult to do with ArtGraph because ArtGraph is much more concentrated. So you need more control. You can see here that it's not very easy to get the flat wash compared to this side here which is the Graphitone wash. I'll be using the Dela Rowley Kandaha drawing ink. This is India ink. This is not 100% black. When you use it over black lines like this, the lines will still show through. And that is the reason why I like this particular ink. I want to color this area here. This is the wheel that should be black. You may be wondering why don't I just use the 8B Graphy Tone to darken this area and the reason is because if I use this this is going to be much darker and this is going to cover all the line art that I drew earlier on let me show it to you so I'm just going to draw some boxes here overlapping boxes I'm going to just apply this onto the paper this is 8B so this is going to be quite dark you can still see the lines show through but when I actually go and dissolve the graphite like this this is going to be much darker and it's going to cover over the lines this is still not quite as dark so usually I will have to spend quite a bit of time to actually make this much darker because it's not that easy to dissolve okay let me try it again I'm going to draw some lines here I'm going to use this washer and see if I can get those lines to show through so it's very dark it's I think it's about as dark as a liquid ink but in this case the lines they don't show through anymore it's very difficult to see the lines let me zoom in closer for you to see the lines that I'm talking about these are the lines that I'm talking about so you can still see the ink lines show through even though I applied India ink over it and this is applied with India ink you can see this part here as well this is a bit too dark but you still see the lines showing through and let's compare that to the 8B graphy tone this is still not dry yet but you can see that for some of the areas here especially where there is a lot of graphite it's going to block off the lines but of course if you don't use so much graphite 
If you were just to dilute it, then you will still see the lines like this. After the graphite has dried, you can still go in to add in additional layers if you want to make certain places darker. So I'm going to add in this part here and this part here. Maybe the wheel should be much darker because they are supposed to be in black. And this part here. So you can go over as many times as possible just to make the shades, make the tones darker. Another nice thing about the Graphitone pencil is you can create splatter marks very easily. Let me show you that. I'm using a water brush here. Make sure I wet the top of the Graphitone first and then lightly brush off the tip and you can get the splatter marks like that. You might want to uh, control the direction of the splash. With the wet tip, let me see if I can add in another layer of tone. I'm actually dipping my pencil, the Graphitone pencil, into water and using it like this. It dries off very quickly. I mean, the tip cannot hold a lot of water because this is not a brush after all, but you can still use it to create some uh, line art. Especially for the horizontal um, openings here. Let me show you what it's like to, if you were to just draw it like this. When the pencils are wet, they can be a bit messy, especially if you are to put them into your pencil case. That's if you want to bring them around. However, if you are working at home, you can just put them into a pencil holder. But make sure to dry them properly first if you can afford the time to do so. If you do not want to bring the whole pencil out, you can actually use a pen knife to cut out small pieces and fit it into the half pen here. You can cut out four pieces and squeeze them into the pen here. It will be a bit tight, so you might have to use the pen knife again to shave off some of the graphite, but it will eventually fit into the pen. Four pieces into one pen. Let me show you other examples where I have used the graphite tone to paint over. This is a pen and ink sketch. I dissolve the graphite tone first before I apply the wash. This is so that I can get a large area of wash like this. If you are going to apply the pencil on the paper, it's going to be difficult to control and it's also going to be difficult to get flat washes like this. For the darker areas, I overlay with another layer of graphite. Or you can just use a darker pencil like a 6B or an 8B. But if you want just a slight gradation, just a layer darker, then you can just apply with another layer of graphite of the same value that you use. This is another example. I cannot remember whether or not I use 2B, 4B or 6B, but the darker areas I apply with another layer of graphite. You can see that there are not a lot of dark ducts. For this particular sketch, I use only one layer of graphite. For the dark areas here, I actually just use India ink. This is so that you can get the contrast to really pop out. After the graphite is dry, it's actually waterproof. If you rub your finger over it, you can pick up some of the graphite, but it's mostly permanent and because you can still pick up some of the graphite, I do recommend you to spray some fixative over to protect it. These are quite fun to use and very convenient to bring around. They are also inexpensive, quite affordable. If you want to buy them, I recommend you get 2B and 6B or 4B and 8B. You do not have to buy all four of them. 
I think that's all for my review today. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section just right below this video. I will also post a link to my text review so you can check out the high resolution scans and also any updates if I have any updates. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so for more art product reviews. See you in the next video. Bye.